As we can see, the scoreboards halfway through the day. Powerful. Well, they may come. Uh, they're not gonna be complaining about that first place, I'm pretty certain. And uh, down in the bottom of things, things have indeed changed up a little bit. PKD with that win, well, they're gonna get themselves into the 10th place, which of course is the cutoff point. And Exodus as well with a good second place there, gonna stay in ninth. Oh my lord. And like, for the side of PKD and EXT, they have helped themselves a little bit to create that gap. Mm between the teams below them but when you look from 11th to 15th nine points separate them yep. so those teams are kind of scrambling against each other and that is helping pkd and ecstatus it is not going to be easy for anyone and that's the interesting part of this right because we can't really tell mm -hmm. that which one team is just going to go out now and stomp everything because everybody i feel exactly. like i've had Pretty good moments. But what I'm seeing right now is Last Crew and Simply Simple both jumped Valor del Mar. That's an area you don't see contested very often down in the southwest. I want to see an island finish. I, I'm telling you, I want to see an island finish today. I want to oh, see you won't get one now. Vegas. Damn it! God, <laughs> Damn it! Gods. Can't swear Girl, but, on stream. But, but it is quite north. So I don't mind that because look at the amount of teams that are down south. Yeah. There's only two teams occupying the circle. Indeed they are. I mean, they um, the majority of these guys will have to make the push on forward and for last crew and for Simply Simple. I'm not sure exactly what the, uh, what the play is here, but uh, somebody will have to die and some other teams will have to rotate quite far. They will. Uh, and for some of these teams it's also going to be a matter of not directly going through the center mm. the circle right they might have to shift deep west or shift deep east just to kind of help themselves a little bit more especially the teams that are lower down in the table as we look at inside games yeah they're just looting not a whole lot to see <laughs> i mean we do look at inside games but they're just um they're just chilling Oh, did, what do you yep. think they're discussing right now? They're discussing how they turn around a game that they got zero points into a game where they can dominate and get as many kill points as possible because that is exactly what they need to do. I know they have it in them. They have the confidence. They have the individual talent. They've just got to put it all together and hopefully Picado will be a good starting point for that. Well, I mean, they will get the loot they need, they will get the vehicles they need, everything else is going to be on themselves to uh, well, to get the points that they need to to make it on towards that third season, of that third season, third phase of the EL contenders. And Vic as well, well, I mean, they, um, they, they had the good idea of pushing over earlier in the previous game on towards the, uh, the last crew, or the last crew on towards the, um, the powerful yeah. guys, but they kind of disengaged and got caught themselves in the end of it. But, uh, but now back to, well, the Lamar we go, SS and last crew, well, it's not done yet, and I don't think it's going to be done anytime soon. No, I don't think it will be. I'd like to think that, especially on the side of SS, they'll just look to maybe respect Last Crew and not go near them. But the fear, although, well, as the knockdown does come down for a Gavor from the side of the Last Crew, I was thinking that, and I was thinking that SS, they're a little bit split. Mm. So Last Crew, they do kind of come a bit closer together to each other that they'll be able to get those frags on to uh, Simply Simple. And I'm looking at the minimap and I'm seeing all of them disengage mm. on that immediately. There's absolutely no reason to stick around no. for much longer. Nothing left to fight for and Mocha secures himself the loot needed. And the team will now be able to continue forward. Milky Way, zero points placement wise last game, but 10 kills. Yeah. That was uh, very impressive to say the least. Zoom was a big part of that. Yeah. So very big part of that very talented player has been around for a while and uh well we'll see if they can maybe get some placement points with it this time around exactly and, and as i kind of said last game i i love how you've such a rich rich history with some of these players and some of these teams so always feel free to throw that out there and kind of give 
bit of information to like to myself and the and the viewers as to you know how much you know about these players, <laughs> and where they've kind of come from to get to where they are now. But footballers, three p- three players now going to be joined by a fourth occupy that compound inside the fields. Like so just they uh, they they picked the right compound last game, I guess you can say, in the aspect of yeah, of did. them not having to go anywhere. And who knows? Who knows? Maybe this one will be as well. Marsalik seems to have thought so at least. But uh, he's by himself up against three of the four players in Exodus. They got themselves a pretty good second place last game. Unfortunately, there Reggie wasn't able to pull off the win against MJO, but um, but a good second place nonetheless. Hundred percent as a loot drop. Goes right by inside games with an AUG. Wouldn't be it wouldn't be a bad gun to pick up if, if I'm not mistaken. Not too bad a weapon at all. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of who I assume played with previously. Okay. Something tells me that he used to play with airwaves, but I'm not exactly sure. That's just my immediate my immediate thought that he was playing with airwaves for a while. I think I, I feel like I've seen him with that logo before, but I'm sure the chat can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. See, that's the thing I've got you thinking now. <laughs> you got you thinking. But Marcelic. He's going to be able to get one at least. No. Or is he now? Caterin knew it. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. They, um. Huh. I was not expecting them to be as ready for that one as they were. But they played it extremely well. One jumps far, one peeks short, and they take him out. Great play. Yeah. Great play by by them. They're they're riding high on a strong game. Yeah. Three. Now they look to follow up with game four. A point counts as powerful. Are now going to be down to three players and actually taking shots from huge potential. But they are going back into safety as I believe a one higher got blown out on the side of Ehoff. It seems like it, but in any case, he's still able to drive forward. <laughs> oh, spin, bounce, jump around. Drive, drive, and drive some more. Seems like he is able to get away, fortunately, despite all the bullets coming his way. MJ Esports split 2-2, two and two, as you can see. Four kings are in between them, so to speak. MJ, they, like, they're finding themselves in fifth place overall, but they seem to... They seem to do fantastically, even though they also seem to be kind of split up mm. quite often in these games. And in some way, I, I don't know how it works out, but in other ways, I'm like, no, it, it works for them. It works for them as a team, as a play style. So don't knock it if it's working right. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, there's uh, there's no reason to change up things if you're keeping having success mm. with doing so. Huge potential. They're kind of sandwiched between powerful and inside games. Hmm... Yeah, but at the same time, it's early on, and even if you do, I mean, ugh, I don't know. Even if you do spot people and maybe get a knock on the neighbor compound, is it really enough for you to want to commit to a push towards it? No. Most no, likely not. not really. I yeah, think yeah. any team can 3v4 any other team in this lobby, given being in the better position. So yeah. it's rarely, ever, unless if it's like, oh my god, if we don't go here, we're going to die to the blue or something like that, then you, you rarely ever see that happen. Yeah, I totally agree. Oh man, the boys of Sea Gorg, they find themselves still in last place with 28 points. That is not good. That's no. as many points as. Oh, okay, so one more point than what. Uh... Yeah, there's one more point than what Powerful picked up in two games. <laughs> I mean, two individual games, that is. Circle. Yep. East, it's going to favor the, uh, well, I mean, part of the majority, but as we can see here, airwaves, they're going to have all kinds of room for days, whereas to the west side, oh boy, that is going to be a cluster. <laughs> Even YMCA, I feel, are looking in a solid position. Um, they're going to look to occupy the compound inside the fields beside uh, footballers. Mm -hmm. We see Milky Way pushing up towards Powerful. Now, I assume once again, the damage dealer from afar gets the knock on towards Ghost. The important one of that is the teammates have pushed up close. Yeah, Izuna is looking to now join the rest of the team. They've got to make sure they stick together somewhat as a unit that they frag together as much as possible. Powerful, two knocks, one member left. That is not the start they would have wanted. They lost Marcelic real early in this game, and all of a sudden, yeah. Ghost Eyes, all that's left in this is what we've been talking about. As powerful as they can be with those crazy heavy hitting double digit kill wins, 
they as well can have brutal early game clusters that do not go their way. Norkis does manage to get himself one knock, but there's still two more players to be found. Three with DB being rest. Oh man, oh, he's found half of the health of man's right now, but now he has kind of exposed his position. Norkis, he's gonna get a second knockdown. Is this gonna be the one man army play the sentry for Norkis? Why, Milky Way, are you not? either throwing something or doing something to take him down yep. and why are you missing all these bullets it's always easy for us to sit and say because we have nothing on the line here but for milky way they're in it sure right now but they do not want to get let Loki's get another chance at fighting this one that's the thing like flush is a two-man flush as a two-man, you don't necessarily have to kind of go one by one. Okay, grenade is gonna go be thrown out in yeah. the direction. Oh, yep. it just went through before the door closed, unfortunately. Nogi heard the pull, he saw the nade come forward, but it went through the door before anything else happened. And one point is all it's gonna be for powerful this time around. A again, you, you can't help but think it was an, an unnecessary point, but either way, Norcus did great to get two knockdowns. Oh, yeah, as well oh, yeah, he played well. Yeah, he did play well. But MJ Esports now they're together as a four man team, huge potential in the distance, as well as can't quite catch that logo. Also, by them, it's always tricky. All these teams have their logos that are the same color as the background. It's like, hmm, like airwaves, it's just a blue spot flat up there on the, <laughs> on the left side of your screens i know right oh man oh man four kings 14 kill points in game three 14. Yeah. that was uh that was something that we haven't really seen from them previously no. and uh and well if they can do anything just close to that again i think they're gonna be happy campers they are indeed now we do we will sorry see this next Phase shift somewhat start to show up as we are having 57 players alive with 15 teams, but still only less than 13 minutes in, so it's somewhat early days. Um, so let's see what's gonna give force. Is it gonna be a hard shift north? If this one is goes it gonna east, it's south? gonna be horrible. Oh, it's going to go back up northwest, so it is a hard shift northwest. Hmm interesting at that most teams are in already and you can see it had been southeast or just anywhere east honestly there would have been a cluster of teams trying to make their way over but this time around well everyone's already uh kind of dug in deep in their foxholes yeah. and for the teams that are trying to push forward now it's going to be really tough to find anywhere to lay low i'm particularly looking at simply simple and ymca because yeah. they have footballers and 3d max holding on to the edge of the circle we do see last crew are trying to put pressure on the envic who all who hold on to that building who hold on to that compound as they are looking to reposition 3d max trying to prevent anyone from coming close towards him you can see yep. on the map in the corner there that it's uh i mean that's going to be the first line of defense for anyone trying to push through towards the circle and simply simple are the team trying to maneuver around. Same with YMCA as well. They got past footballers, but now they're turning towards inside gains and huge potential. I actually like what YMCA did. Hmm. Let's see if it pays off. But no one frag has come out from Alran. Assemble is gonna gonna go down. Ooh, Sikura, that okay. is not what you wanna have happened. Turbo goes down too, and uh it's just it's frustrating to see. I mean again. It is. YMCA, they're probably going to be in, no matter what, because of uh, how good a day they had on day one. Yeah. But it's still, they cannot be going in confident in this. Seagorg in the midst of it. They are down low right now, and now they're fighting with airwaves. One down from each team so far. As we are going to see... Mackin got knocked down. Hawk is there, looking for Barlow, looking for Fisk, but Philow... And the rest of the Seagorg team, they have them somewhat surrounded. Yep, last crew is charming in Ooh. now as well from afar, and that is crucial. Furex, Ballas both down. This could be yet another low point game for Seagorg. Philo is alive. He wants to secure himself just something, but it's not going to be easy. It's barely even going to be possible. Amorous is up and above. He's going to spot him up, but he's not able to land the shots needed either. What is going on here, guys? Stop throwing your helmets at each other soon. 
Because last crew out there, and they're just confusing both airways and Sea Gorg, and they're just benefiting from it all going down in their favor. As MJ <laughs> are going to be able to look to drive away during inside the blue zone. On a side note, Sea Gorg did get eliminated in 15th place. It seemed like they both ran out of ammo in both their weapons yep. before they managed to finish <laughs> off one another. That was a oh, chaotic, man. chaotic fight. And in the end, unfortunately for Seagull, they do go down once again with zero points. <laughs> Let's the say oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, I can count. And I can also tell you how many teams are not inside the circle right now. Yeah, MJ Sports have gone into a compound all by themselves. There is that one remaining member of Airways to adopt it. Taken damage from last crew and MJ Sports as well as even possibly 3D Max. In the distance, I don't think he's going to be able to survive for much longer. I don't think AK Skills thought that there was a player right there to begin with. He got sure, for sure got surprised. Oh. And on his last crew, yep. I mean, losing one there, that's unfortunate what, what you want to have happened. Especially considering that look at the position here. I mean, last crew had a yeah, great yeah. spot in the circle and they could just have chilled and held it defensively. I, but I suppose it, sometimes you're just like, you're just not sure now. They would have heard the shots and possibly would have heard the vehicles in the distance. So maybe with a bit more of a calculation, they would have realized that MJ Esports were there or around there. So, mm. yeah, maybe it was a bit of an unnecessary frag that they got count out on their side. But PKD finding Simply Simple. Yeah, nade thrown over. PKD wanting to get some more points, of course. Not really safe in it just yet. And you're going to continue to pull off good numbers. Just one win isn't gonna be enough. SS, two good games earlier. Now two rough games back to back. Oh boy, oh boy. Not helping themselves whatsoever. It does kind of help the side of Four Kings. It helps inside games and of course it helps PKD. See Higgy trying to hold off anyone coming through. It's a nice little angle. He's found himself, but he's gonna get spotted Ooh. too. Now Solo trying to stay safe. Higgy does get spotted. Take a little bit of damage, but he did manage to tag Wacko once and all of it, and he needs the help from his teammates now. Yeah, Fosford, he's looking for Wacko. Sorry, Noki, should I say? Apologies. But, oh, that hillside just not helping him right now. But Grishka Power, Wacko got knocked down on the side of PKD. You can see how they're trying to hold him off. Higgy, got to reload that gun. There you go. Gets the reload off. Won't get the kill, but his teammate is able to flush it out. Sola. He's going to make the run around as well. This could be, could be well more than what all 3D Max could really handle here. Yeah, that was Four Kings' first frag of the day. Mm. So Wait, what? That was their first frag. No, not of the day. Sorry. Oh, the, day. I was like, what? Yeah, I know. What? I just realized they got Four Kings. <laughs> wow, wow. My apologies. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> first frag of this game. There you go. Was, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Wait, make that two in fairness, Manny just got the secure mm -hmm. on Wago as 3D are down to two players. This is a vehicle graveyard if I've seen one. Plenty <laughs> of them and plenty of dead bodies all over the place. PKD are living in corpses and they're trying to get more of them in their direction. Genso throwing nades forward a little further forward and that one could be a double kill. MJ trying to stay alive but it's not going to be easy. Yannis has thrown the smoke on out but Huth and J. Ooh, they want to push forward but Robin is there to get a noggin. Yeah, the good thing for PKD is they do hold a circle, but they are getting bullets fired from all kinds of distance as Azrael does get knocked down from Genzo. Genzo is a daring player and he needs to be right now because he has to make room for Hughes to make the push on forward and they need to deal with this PKD team before oh, no. Hughes can get anywhere. He's still in the blue. He has to crawl further forward. Genzo goes for the flush now instead oh, of no. trying to find the other players. That's going to expose his position. Hughes is down to the blue and so does Genzo go down as well, unfortunately. Not a whole lot more he can do there. Oh, man. And he couldn't secure that frag as well. Yeah. Feels bad, man. Feels bad indeed. But that's what you get for possibly leaving a bit too late to try and drive into the circle. But 3D Max, Naki is with Solar. The two members of the 3D Max facing pressure from Four Kings. Many teams around them trying to get in on this one. And IG now on top of things. Yeah. Securing the finish off on towards Noki. But they themselves are under pressure with Milky Way pushing down towards him. This is such a hard area of the map to fight in. And we've seen the kill feed light up all over the place. Yeah, YMCA. 
are eliminated. Four kings have taken down inside games. Yeah, the fact wow. that uh, the fact that that PKD managed to get out of that earlier and still keep all three players alive yeah. is very very impressive to see. Kenzo had a nice push around the corner. I thought he was gonna be there. There, uh, that Grim Reaper, pretty much, but but nope, wasn't quite the case. It's not over yet, though. We do have Milky Way firing off inside the circle. 3D Max do get eliminated by Mans. That's what I'm talking about right now. So, what are Four Kings gonna have to do? They're fighting against the Blue Zone. PKD do get eliminated by Envic. Oh my god, Four Kings are just gonna fire, find themselves getting in a flurry of bullets when they get close to that circle. Yeah, great play from Rip to hold off the push coming in from them. They all, uh, Pretty much secure themselves their entire western side. It's triple kill for him. Support came in from the teammates, but that's yep. all he needed to do. Envic as well, a team that's not really in the best spot right now, wanting to secure themselves more points. Of course, they need all the points they can get. They are going to climb up further on the table. Currently lying in 14th place. Mm. Overall, Faye finding Ooh. Piggy right now. Going to get the knockdown, secure the frag, and put four kings down to two players left, I believe. Get the knock. Flush, get back into safety. That's exactly how yep. you want to do it. Same thing happening once more as Grishka gets flushed out here. DP over the top, spots out Ooh. Faye, but not able to line the shots. On the side up, Manny actually managed to sneak his way into the circle. Just to point that out. So, four kings yep. keep your dream alive. Six teams left, 18 players, 18 players left alive. Wait, we, didn't we talk earlier about how Exodus wanted to find the compound to be in? Yep. Yep, they found it. <laughs> at least now i mean it could still shift out east we don't know but uh of course but that's yet a, yet a game with them sitting in the center and well they get to stay <laughs> wow the PUBG gods are on their side for this game once again however and Vic, they're trying to be protected behind the hook but only so many people can hide in there only so many shots can stop yourself from being taken out however reggie looking for mj yeah, they've been staying up here for a while. They did lose one player earlier in trying to to clear the area. So, uh, well, I mean, they 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 need to play it aggressively. They cannot let teams push up towards their footsteps or doorsteps. No, they can't. And uh, like it, it's, I, I'm like Envic have it so tough right now. They're on six kills so far. So either way, they still had a good team. If they do get fragged out. In six space, they have had a strong performance in this game four, but they find a knockdown. Yeah, they do get themselves one on towards DP, but they're, <clears throat> excuse me, focusing on a whole lot of different things right now. Yeah. The main concern has to be dealing with Milky Way, and that indeed it is pushing on forward, but I assume we've seen him so many times before. Faye, though, spots him out and forces him back down behind the cliffs. Wow, gotta give a lot of credit to Envic. They get that knockdown and they realize, even though the revive has come out, it really stopped Milky Way from pushing um, Envic back even further. However, Manny sees still in there. Izum is going to look for more damage, more kills. He finds it. He is a very pivotal player in this Milky Way lineup. Seven kills once again for the team. Milky Way last game had 10 kills without a single placement point. And this time around, they're looking to get double digits once more. Manny secures the finish up once one. Zoom hurt the bullets fired. So he's going to know yep. there's a player down there somewhere. Okay, now the grenade gets flying out. Manny realizes he does not have much time left, but he does manage to hide himself behind the dip. But with the remaining member of Envic there, they do get eliminated. <laughs> Izum takes him out. Hoggy's like, can I steal some kills here? Wait, Hoggy, you might want to finish that guy that was prone. <laughs> nope, he doesn't get it. <laughs> Man steals the kills, and I believe that's the 10th kill coming in for Milky Way two games in a row now. Wow. And they find themselves in the top four of these teams that are left last crew ecstatis mj and of course milky way look at the position for kato run here he has all the vision in the universe yeah. it's just a matter of putting the vision into the aim and getting yourself those points only three kills so far they could have gotten more had they pushed up more on the edge i like that hawkey is playing the position the way that he is here but he's yeah. just not able to get a lot of info from there now that the entire side of the circle is well, i mean kind of kind of quieted out he needs to focus south where milky way is 100% agree. I really love his position right now. As soon as he spots out an opponent, he's going to be able to communicate that 
to the rest of his team, and I think that has exactly what has happened as Reggie turns his attention on Daizu. Yeah, well, the circle shifting south, Kateran is going to need help. Either he backs off or he mm. gets people up there to help him. Hockey as well, hearing all the steps up and above him. When are you going to start shooting? Are you going to try and bait them further forward with your teammates, or are you not? You have a chance to make a play here, but he's going to instead try to smoke his way into safety, I would assume, make the run back towards his teammates. Yeah, and also because Reggie is actually there covering his angle, covering his ground, that's actually really helping Hawkey get into safety as we did see Jap one knocking down Stratus. Yeah, Jabby gets himself one. Jabby is on me Nate thrown forward towards her and Ojala. He knows well approximately where they're located. Now he spots him out as well, and Jabby has no idea where Ojala is positioned, and he is going to go down because of it. Yeah, a lot of damage you get returned in favor but not enough to secure that knockdown for last crew as mj just gonna keep themselves going strong 12 players alive over four teams an average of three per team as i zoom is looking for kedge well jala got himself take every mug was there to return the damage and uh, well that's gonna be a knock on towards him 11 kills for milky way and they're sitting well in it they don't want to leave the compound just yet Zoom is outside still to try and maintain some sort of control on what's coming down towards him. In the meantime, Stratus here trying to pinpoint the last players on the last crew team. And what's and what's crazy is considering the size of the circle, so to speak, all of them are clustered on the northwest side of it. Nobody's holding the southeast. Talked to Stratus yesterday. He said they were feeling they were going to get at least one win today. This one might not be it, though. Did he see his helmet, Reggie? Oh, he's going to underhand it. Might as well throw an ape down there instead of shooting a guy. Yep, yep spotted. Nate right on the money. Reggie's gonna get the double, and that's gonna be MJ out in fourth place. Mookie now, they're crawling up. Reggie hurt him, though. That's gonna be the bullets oh. needed. Not a knock coming, and I thought it was gonna get him down guaranteedly, but the ground took a lot of those bullets. Yeah, Mookie's able to just dip down that little bit further, but he does drive on forward. He gets that knockdown, gets that frag. That's going to be six kills in the favor of Ecstatus. Exodus were too passive. They allowed for teams to push around the side, and it has come to cost them. They still have the high ground, the position up there, but now the issue for them becomes the fact that Milky Way and all of that, they repositioned. They took the time to play differently, yeah. and now it's going to be up to Exodus to somehow get down this hill. And, and that's the thing, I know, I know that they have the low ground, which is part of the reason why no team was holding the southeast, but Milky Way going down there, it gives them so much more freedom, and there is a lot of dips that they can hide behind, and they're able to spread themselves out to find the vision, to find the position. And look at the play from Zoom there as well. Go up, get the ankle, get the yeah. damage done, and then immediately fall back down again. They exactly. have no info up there. All they can do... And so, well, I mean, peek in blindly with the opponents having very minimal areas they have to look. Now, in saying that, though, Milky Way, they aren't out of the woods just yet. As you've seen, Digger has knocked down Izum. That's going to put Milky Way in a bit of a back, back foot. Mance is like, no, get back in there. And then they all run back inside the compound. Zoom, five kills once again. Very talented player. Jappy, let's get finished off. Second one goes down two. And DP able to stay put 13 kills for Milky Way. We set coming into this game. Holy cow. <gasps> oh, what? <laughs> oh, my lord. You said Izum? Well, I'm saying man's baby. That was a headshot times two and a good one at that as well. Well, I mean, what I wanted to say was the fact that we wanted Milky Way to start getting yeah. some placement points. And well, there you go. Kills and placement points this game. Yeah, it's just, like I said, it's securing their spot. It's securing their position. Their third overall. They want to go into contenders phase three, riding on a lot of confidence, riding high on those average points per game. And they're doing themselves every single favor right now. It's a 3v2. Exodus have the numbers, but I'm pretty sure, despite the fact that we haven't really seen the circle in a while, that it's going to go back down this hill. So the longer that DB, oh, nice headshot, the longer that they can stay alive up here, or down here, I guess I should say, the, uh, the bigger the chance that they'll be able to get some kills on the side. Man spots one more. This is a doable but hard play for Milky Way to play. It is, but we saw DP reposition from Rock to the edge. Nice. And that helped him extensionally as he gets a knockdown on the hockey. 
Great headshots coming in from DB there, doing so much damage right now. Mans does get knocked down. Hawkey now he's just gonna crawl for info, gonna try and see if he can get the vision on the last player to make it somewhat more doable. It is indeed the players up top that will have to crawl down, and whether they win it or not, Exodus with a win and a second could potentially be a very good trade-off for them. Headshot once again from DB. He's not getting them a chance at all. Spots Cater on up top. He has to prone down. Solo player left alive, and he's making it really damn hard for the guys above, but that's all it took. Wow, what a finish. Milky Way, despite not winning it, played it well until the very last breath. But it's going to be Exodus. A second place followed by a win. That's exactly the way they would have wanted to play this one. My lord, and that's the points difference we're going to see between them and 10th place and the teams below them. That's going to really secure or at least help them potentially secure their spot in phase three of contender. I'm so, but then again, like I, I can't help but be so impressed with Milky Way. Yeah, so impressed with them. Very, very, very wow. impressive games coming, uh, coming from them over the last two ones, that's for sure. And with two games left to play, I mean, if they can keep this going, whoo. Like, I reckon that's actually put them in second place overall in the standings. Correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I know, that will put something them in like that. Place. Something like that. Yeah. I mean, they uh, they have themselves two kill or two games with over with over ten kills. That's uh, or ten kills or more, I guess you should say. That's indeed going to push them up there because it was pretty close up in the uh, in the top anyway. Yes, yeah, it's it gonna was. make it's gonna make things even more of the sort. I, I'm just speechless with how they continuously I, I managed to contain Exodus. I mean, in the end, they did win the game, and it's impressive by Exodus to be able to continuously keep each other alive. But the way that they managed to contain them up there for the longest of time, and they were just fighting for the entire game. And that's the thing, like, Milky Way played such a calculated move, right? They knew they weren't going to be able to push where Ecstatus were, right? Mm. They weren't going to be able to them on that northwest so what did they do they held the southeast i said that no team was there so they said okay we're gonna hold that position we're gonna spread out we're gonna cover the angles we're gonna use the dips and the grooves of those rocks of that hill to our advantage and god damn it did they do it they indeed did last group tried to stay alive they got the knock on towards zoom that would be the death of him in the end of things <laughs> you see Dickery, he's just full-on committed to this one spot but dp got the better of him and then that one <laughs> peek over the top Man. twice get two headshots and that's not coming in for you and dp here in the end of it really really did well in trying to stay alive unfortunately for him wasn't going to be enough cater and ran around the side wanted to get the knock we don't get to see it but they did manage to get the win in it nonetheless yeah, we see two teams at the bottom getting zero points. YMCA and Simply Simple. Definitely disappointing for Simply Simple in this fourth game. But look at that. 13 kills for Milky Way. Putting them on top, even though they didn't get the chicken dinner. Yeah, that's twice now that Exodus gets themselves above double ditches as well. Really, really good True. performance for them too. Great comeback for a team that... Uh, <laughs> Has been drilled down in Milky Way. Almost 3,000 damage in one game. That is, oh uh, that's, that's, that's pretty decent. That's, that's like, they got 14 kills and that's near over 27 kills. They have damage. three. Right, that's crazy. It's only last crew and Milky Way who are on the left yeah. side of the, uh, of the damage leaderboards. That is absolutely insane. Wow. Milky Way, I assume once again, did exactly that. He was zooming onto people's heads all day long and got himself a ton of damage done. But Diggory breaking 1k damage that is absurd. That's impressive. That is very impressive in Diggory. Uh, that hasn't happened in quite a while, if not at all. Maybe I could be wrong, but great play individually from Diggory. Indeed, there is something about those Finnish players. I don't know what it is, but uh, whatever they're feeding them for breakfast improves their aim <laughs> by quite a margin. They just continue to impress time and time again. But guys, that is going to be it for this game. We're going to take it to a short break, and I'll be back and ready with more in just a few.